Yeah, I had the phone on pause. I had, listen to me, I can't even speak English now. I had the phone on pause, and this is why I don't recommend the Samsung. It's a real piece of, you fill in the blank. If you breathe on this goddamn thing, it, it does something. It, it causes something to happen with the phone. I put the phone down while on pause to figure out what's going on with my locomotive here that stopped, suddenly stopped here underneath my piano. And, um, and I went to pick it up, it suddenly stopped. It canceled. And I had to start all over again. So, in any event, the train is stopped here, partially underneath my piano. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I think it might have to do with this. This section of track underneath my piano, I bought new. The curve, back there, I bought used on eBay. And it's ironic, it's MTH track. And only my MTH subway trains will not run properly on this track. My Both my Line L sets, the M7 Metro North and the R30, run without a hitch on this track. But all the MTH product, half the time it won't make it around the curve. This time it made it around the curve, but it didn't come all the way down to the, the, uh, the bumper there. It didn't come down to the end. And I've got a short fuse and therefore no patience and I'm done. I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to bed. To hell with this. I don't like doing these anyway. I know a lot of you like, like people like Stay Fresh, love my, my videos of my uh, HO test track. And when I had the O scale test track up on my counter, you know, back and forth like a shuttle. I know a lot of you like that. I don't. I wish I had a layout. But I did want to film the R32. Nice set. But damn it, don't use MTH track. Get Line L track, which is what I'm going to do. And that's all I can tell you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.